for me, I mean, I don't know if you can see my scar here. For, yeah. For everyone listening, I have like a giant horseshoe shaped scar on the bottom uh, or the inside of my arm. And then on the outside of my arm, I have another horseshoe shape. That's the top jaw and the bottom jaw of a 16 foot reticulated python. Yeah. I've basically have permanent disabilities uh, from this. I have uh, had out of a surgery and I've got more testing coming up um, very soon, actually, because one of the teeth from the python punctured my uh, older nerve directly. And then on top of that damage, scar tissue built up and put more pressure on it. I would say I had about 50% function in my hand for what's been a year and a half. Wow. Slowly getting better. Because you saw that as soon as you got bit that your two fingers were kind of hanging down there after the, the, the python, right? It felt like I had stuck my hand in an electrical outlet immediately. And yeah. if, you, if you watch the video, uh, normally in that situation, you better do everything to get the python off of you like whatever you got to do. But I trusted Adam. I trusted, uh, we had a couple of local snake handlers. I felt like if I knew, I knew the teeth were in something. I didn't know exactly what mm -hmm. I thought it was either a nerve or an artery. Cause I'd never felt that sensation. I was afraid if I struggled at all, it might just sever yeah. all the way through. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I was no I, help getting that off because uh, my arm was already you were messed wrapped up. up yeah. So I had, to, yeah. I had to take a back seat. And I was like, oh, it, it killed me to see that because I wish I could have done more getting that off. Was, was that a male? Was that a male? I can't remember if we saw uh, it. Or yeah, I, 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 don't, I wouldn't trust the way they sexed it. Yeah, um, yeah, the biologist did it. Yeah. Yeah, they said if, it was a if male. If it was a male, I, I think off the top of my head, the males might have serrated teeth. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. I've still got one. I've, I've got the tooth that. Yeah, I it was, it, it was in arm. your flesh, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've, I've, I've still got it, and yeah, it's. I mean, the serrations will be so tiny, but it, it's not as serrated as say like a water monitor's teeth, though. But okay, well, and, I and that want to jerk away with the serrated tooth in my arm. Yeah, you know oh, and, I mean? and that's and that's the one that you rated the highest out of the whole, uh, out of the whole show was the reticulated python, which got to twenty five point seven five on the uh, on the pain index, and and what the guys are describing is when the python the jaws are just huge i mean it almost looks like a like a like a hollywood bad special effect when it opens its jaws it doesn't even look like it's real right <laughs> but the serrate that there's so many teeth like I, I, i'm not sure i can't remember if it was adam or, or, or i think it was adam's arm when the uh the doctor said it almost looked like a propeller like a boat propeller went over your arm and just cut it like in multiple like it seemed like a dozen places of like this tooth mark all the way across your arm yeah i still got like you can see it right there yeah plain as day you know the scar is there yeah, yeah. his cool his scar is so much cooler than mine i'm super yeah, mine. <laughs> his is an outer scar you got the inner scar yeah I, I got i got the good scar and no permanent damage <laughs> yeah <laughs> he's got like a bar conversation piece and yeah, i've got yeah. surgery <laughs> I'm, I'm really i'm really pissed off the piranhas didn't scar though i would have loved a good piranha scar that would have been awesome <laughs> yeah I noticed too, Robert, like when, when you guys had that python, this thing was, I mean, like you said, 16 feet and it's across a table and it's waiting for you. And when you lunged at it with your arm, that's where it came out and got you. Like it, it, you didn't have to wait too long, at least the way that they edited it. Like as soon as you kind of lunged at it, it came and bit right on you. We had a, we had a real uh, hard, like we were scared that we were like, yeah, how the hell are we going to get this thing to bite us? Because there was a real chance that it wouldn't have been interested in us so for one it's like how are we going to get it to bite us and two how are we going to get it to bite us where we want it to bite us right so and and we didn't want to do like uh we want to do sort of a very fleshy part so it wouldn't cause damage but it copped obviously it copped rob right where we didn't want it to to get him but we w weren't sure whether to get it by the head and put it on our arms uh but that would compromise its power so it right. wouldn't be a, a good bite. You want that force of it striking. And it's a purely a defensive strike. You know, we're pissing it off, waving our arms in front of it. And, um, yeah, it, it, and obviously the face shields and that. And we were wearing cups as well because, it's, you know, it's, it's head amazing. height with, oh, man, Jesus. Yeah, it could bite anywhere. Circumcision virus python. <laughs> free, free vasectomy, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, exactly. yeah they, they don't have any jaw pressure. It's a lot of people are shocked to hear that they have practically no jaw pressure. It's just that huge, long, muscular body pulling backwards that gives them oh. you know, the light power. So if we held it behind the head, it would have been way safer. But it would just been like needle pricks, and it really wouldn't have been a representation of an actual bite in the field. So I wish we had done it the other way, but uh, yeah. <laughs> it could have been worse. <laughs> 